really warm as well. Look at all the record warm Mays across the region from St. Louis to Nashville, all seeing the warmest May on record, including Tulsa. And then you had some of the second and third warmest Mays all across the east central and southeastern portion of the United States. Pretty remarkable stats for the month of May. Now tomorrow is going to be hot as well as we're going to be sweltering once again for most of the day. But you'll see here in just a few minutes with future track, we'll see some big changes occur during the day tomorrow. What do you see that? I think you're going to like the improvement because by Sunday, cooler air is going to be filtering in the area, suppressing much of the heat well to the south of us. So the sweltering conditions will move down in southern Texas where I think they belong. Right, Brian? Yeah. Anyway, back to partly cloudy. Brian's from South Texas. So I'm sending him back there with the sweltering heat. Thank you. Most Thank you. Still at home. Oh, you're it. welcome. That's what we're here for. Anyway, quick look outside Renaissance Hotel at our Air Comfort Solutions Cam Network. Looking nice and clear. Temperatures lower 90s. Southeast winds about 10 miles per hour. Reached 94 this afternoon. And welcome to officially the hottest day of the year. As the previous hottest temperature so far this year was 93. So we did climb to 94 this afternoon. If you're heading to Lake, great place to be. Great place to cool off. A lot of the uh, lake levels are normal to slightly above because of the rain this week. Tomorrow will be great lake day. South winds switching in the afternoon, picking up to the north, out of the north, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So let's watch this. Okay, so see these little red arrows? Those are the winds. We'll start off very warm and muggy to start your day at 7 a.m. During the day tomorrow, watch those arrows, the blue arrows. Those are north winds coming in, and they're going to filter in by 5 o'clock. We're going to see north winds pick up 10 to 20, gust up to 25 miles per hour. Could see an isolated storm in southwest Missouri quickly race off east. That's where the bigger chances for severe weather are going to be. But by afternoon here in Tulsa, we're going to be in the lower 90s, cooler to the north. And then tomorrow evening will actually be fairly pleasant to be outside. Yeah, it will be pleasant to be outside because by evening we'll drop down the 80s, 60s by Sunday morning, 89 Sunday afternoon. Slight chance for some showers and storms early Tuesday and then mid 90s by the middle of next week. One of the things I love about Oklahoma is you get all four seasons, <laughs> but I feel like we skipped spring this year. We certainly did, but I think we'll get a little taste of it over the next couple of days. That'll be nice. All right. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Regional baseball tournaments underway all over the country. We'll check in with OU.